Hey guys, Chris here with Nevada Random. <laughs> I can't believe you listened to me. What are you talking about? <laughs> on your antelope hunt. Please tell me you did better on the deer hunt. Yeah, well, about that. Wait, you did it again? Yeah, sure did. Welcome back. So here's the story on the 2020 Nevada mule deer hunt. It's a vlog like the antelope hunt. Let's just go to the clip and I'll explain after. Hey guys, Chris here with Nevada Random and uh, we're out trying to make a last ditch effort on the Nevada deer tags uh, this year. Uh, except for the fact that uh, my dumbass forgot bring the tags with me so I got to make a detour run back into town set us back a couple hours but we're gonna get started we're getting everything kind of warmed up and de-iced and whatnot we got a nice snow last night so come on along day one out here and it's last sunset of 2020 going on here behind me so far I haven't seen anything uh, saw some antelope a good mile away but uh, wild horses antelope no deer yet but uh, pretty beautiful out here nice little bit snowy still from the storm last night not horribly cold but overall good day we're gonna relax up here on top of the hill for a bit and then uh, head on back down and get loaded up and get ready for tonight and tomorrow. Alright guys, day two and uh, trying a different spot. Found some does, so it's always more promising than yesterday.
here. Can't quite tell. I don't think there's any bugs in it. Not only did we come to hunt the deer, but we've come to rob them as well. <laughs> so we kept going along and glassing and looking at the, the canyons and whatnot as we were coming up from the high spots. And about two miles down the road, there was this little cutout and pulled off there and there was a little hill. Pulled off there, grabbed my gear, got up the top of the little hill and I could see down on this other little draw. And sure enough, there was a little herd of deer down there and there was a little forky. So I get set up, uh, hit him with the range finder. He's about 225 out and I realize I don't have the camera. So screwed around a little bit and went part way back for the camera gave up on it I'm like i'm just gonna make this you know make this happen so i get back there and start looking for him again can't see him can't see him keep glassing keep glassing and he had gotten spooked and made it about 600 yards uh, the rest of the herd was about 400 but he made it 600 and he was on this steep little area right before the ledge and a rock face and in about 600 yards i wasn't going to risk the shot so i just watched him for a bit and went back to the side by side and proceeded on. Kept hitting the high spots and glassing the draws and didn't see much. Saw some more does, but no bucks. So it came a little bit closer to the spot where my buddy had recommended I go. And beautiful little little canyon with a bunch of draws coming up off of it. And we get around the, the edge of it and there was a steep hill that dropped down into it all covered in snow. And as I was coming down that hill, I actually hit a rock good enough that I that was hidden under the snow that I actually ripped the skid plate on the side by side. Anyway, this draw emptied up, emptied out into a couple other uh, draws that came out of it, and we went down those and glassed, got up on high spots and we're glassing down these draws down into the valley. Didn't see anything. And I finally got turned around at the last one, and my dad had said that the quad was running bad, and it was it was running pretty pretty rough. He wasn't sure that it was going to make it back up the, the steep icy hill. So we switched rigs and he jumped the side by side and I took over on the quad. So I was able to get the quad back up the hill and it was running rough. I was able to skid it around and slide it around going up the hill but it only had about quarter throttle, quarter power. And I find a good flat spot up on the top of the little canyon and start tearing the intake off of it, you know, tearing apart trying to see if the filter's clogged pull a spark plug out of it. So as I'm sitting there, and I know I was be a little bit faster on the quad, but it's been a while as I'm tearing it apart and I'm starting to wonder where everyone's at with the side-by-side. -side. So I start walking back to the edge of the, the canyon so I can see, and not really know what I'm gonna expect because I haven't heard a thing out of the side-by-side. -side. And I get to the edge and I look over and I look down in the on the ice hill and I can see the side-by-side. -side. And it's there, but it's not moving, it's upright, it's on the road and I can see them moving around near it. So my phone was on airplane mode because I was just running Onyx and had it tucked in my pocket. Uh, fire it back up and I have a voicemail from my dad that he had uh, got the got the side-by-side -side hung up on a rock and then slid it in the, the ice, couldn't get any traction, so he was they were working on winching it up. You know, the sun was getting pretty low at this point, so I headed back over to the quad, got it put back all together. It was running better, but still not anywhere close to 100% but at least it had throttle now and I haul butt back down the hill and I get down there and you know the side by side is just not getting enough traction to get any momentum at all so I get all redneck creative and make some makeshift tire chains out of the rope tying knots and wrapping it back and forth around one of the tires and I was able to finally get some traction with the side by side and then pretty much leapfrog the side by side and quad back up this ice hill till we got to the top well, during this whole process, the gal that was with me had fallen a couple times and ended up hurting her arm, which we later found out was a fracture. So we get back out on top of the ice hill, and it's getting dark. Her arm's hurting. We just haul butt off of the mountain and get back the truck loaded up and get the heck out of Dodge. And that was the last day of the season. So, long story short, no deer this year. Learn some lessons. One, I need to quit trying for end-of-the-season hunts and learn some more valuable filming lessons or rather reinforce them from the antelope trip about hunting and making videos on hunting. Trust me, if I get lucky and get some tags this next year, it'll be better. And don't lose faith. I'm going to have some, should have some coyote 
hunts coming up, uh, as well as I'm trying to get a spring hog hunt set up right now. Anyhow, I need to end this already. I've put you guys through enough. On that, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.